Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Medvision. Today's video is based upon the superficial and deep palmar arch. The first part of the video contains the cadaveric dissection of the hand, whereas in the second part we'll learn more about these arches in details with the help of a diagram. Now let's get started with the video. The cadaveric dissection of the hand. are slightly bluish in color because they are accompanied by the vein while the nerve is pearly white in color. So this is the ulnar artery with its accompanying vein and this is the ulnar nerve. And as I mentioned earlier, they pass through the Guion canal. However, ulnar artery in the vein, they pass superficial to the flexor retinacle. Let's trace the ulnar artery. This is the course of the ulnar artery and as it enters the palm, it forms an arch as you can very clearly see here. This arch was just under the palmar aponeurosis. This is the superficial palmar arch. And this superficial palmar arch, this branch will go and communicate with the deep palmar arch, which is not visible in this section. And from the superficial palmar arch, we can see these vessels coming out. This is the medialmost one. This is the next one. These are known as the common digital vessels, which then divide into proper digital vessels. And this rule is followed everywhere. The common digital vessel dividing into the two digital vessels at the interdigital cleft. And we can see yet another branch going to the index finger. So this is the superficial palmar arch. The deep palmar arch is not visible here, as I said, and it is located in relation to the basis of the metacarpal bones deep inside, which is a continuation of the radial artery. Now, let us understand these arches in detail. The superficial palmar arch. This dark green color arch represents the superficial palmar arch. This arch is formed by the superficial palmar branch of the ulnar artery and laterally it is joined by the superficial palmar branch of the radial artery. The branches of the superficial palmar arch. The arch gives off three common digital arteries and one proper digital artery. The common digital artery at the digital cleft divides into two proper digital arteries which supplies the adjacent side of the respective fingers. In all, this digital branches supplies the medial three and a half side of the fingers. Deep palmar arch. This light green color arch represents the deep palmar arch. This arch provides the second connecting channel between the radial artery and the ulnar artery. It is situated deep to the long flexor tendons and hence it is called as the deep palmar arch. The deep palmar arch is formed by the deep palmar branch of the radial artery and medially it is joined by the deep palmar branch of the ulnar artery at the base of the fifth metacarpal bone. Branches of the deep palmar arch. The deep palmar arch gives its branches from the convex side, that is the distal side, its concave side, that is its proximal side, and the dorsal side. From its convex side, it gives off three palmar metacarpal arteries, which runs distally in the second, third, and fourth spaces which supplies the medial four metacarpal bones and terminates at the finger cleft by joining the common digital branches of the superficial palmar arch. Dorsally, the arch gives off three proximal perforating digital arteries which passes through the medial three interosseous spaces to anastomosis with the dorsal metacarpal arteries. From the concave side of the arch, it gives off the recurrent branch which supplies the carpal bones and the joints and ends in the palmar carpal arch. This image is available on my Instagram and Facebook page. If you wish to download this image, visit my page. The links are provided in the description box. I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon to never miss the new update. 
Also join me on my Instagram and Facebook page for notes, quizzes, charts and diagrams of all my videos. The links are provided in the description box. See you soon in my next video.